afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to talk about canoe outriggers or stabilizers. So the reason I bought uh, stabilizers wasn't for everyday canoeing, it's for sailing, canoe sailing. I have a 50 square foot sail and I wanted a little bit of extra stability in rough water. So I started to do some research on some kind of uh, removable, unmountable um, stabilizers and I found these on Amazon. So these were uh, about $80 for a set. Uh, they're just no name uh, for, from Amazon. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the quality. Uh, I've already used them for sailing. This isn't the first time I've had them out, but I'm just doing a video on them now. Um, and uh, so they're a nice quality PVC with a good quality valve. You just blow them up with your mouth. Uh, as you can see, they've already got air in them, but it's just a matter of Okay, to harden them up a little bit. All right, and there's a set. So there's two. And they don't have any leaks and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, they, these didn't come with a crossbar. You can get them with a crossbar, but I wasn't sure about the dimensions of the various crossbars. So, uh, so I made my own with a painter's pole and I just use uh, bolts to keep them on and then I put some tape on the end of the bolts so they don't puncture the tubes. Okay. And they just go through like that and they bolt on. Okay, that's what we're looking at. And then I tape the end. I should get some shorter bolts. Okay, and now to attach them, I'm just lashing them so far, although I'm gonna to switch to U-bolts, but the lashing seems to have worked for the sailing that I've done so far with them. So all I'm doing, so all I'm doing is I'm putting the eight foot crossbar on the front thwart and then lashing it. Uh, I did some calculation and with the eight foot crossbar, um, I'm getting, uh, I think, about uh, 170 pounds of extra riding moment in addition to the canoe's inherent stability. So it's, it's a sub substantial amount of extra stability. Okay, I'm going to lash those on there now. Okay, so there's how they look when they're on the boat. And as you can see, I set them up so that they're clear of the water, um, so that they don't cause any drag uh, when the boat is kind of upright and paddling normally. Uh, but uh, when the boat heels over, it gives me that extra riding moment. But this is where it gets impressive, is when it starts to heel over. Alright, I can stand and lean it right over. That's kind of the maximum riding right there. Okay, so you can see that's really a pretty extreme uh, amount of heel. Okay, and one last experiment I want to try is I want to see if I can climb in to the boat uh, with the outriggers there. Okay, I'm hoping I can. Alright, that was no problem. Uh, I could climb right into the boat. Did you fall? No, I jumped. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was no problem. I climbed right into the boat with the outriggers on. Alright, let's take one more look at that. This is an empty canoe. This is a Grumman 17, by the way. They're pretty good stable boats to start with, but here we go. All right, that's all I have for today. That is canoe or kayak, outriggers or amas off Amazon. Uh, thank you, bye.